All right, vector, parametric and systematic equations of a line in three space. That's a huge title. Essentially, what we're doing is ah, all the stuff we did before. We're just doing it in the third dimension now. So uh, let's bring up essentially the very first example. We'll draw our idea of three space here. Okay, so here's our three space. We have our x-axis, our y-axis, and our z-axis. Okay. And example one gives us a point A. Uh, point A is at negative 1, 3, and 5. And point B is at negative 3, 3, and negative 4. It says to calculate possible direction vectors for this line. So possible meaning that there's more than one. We're going to calculate uh, a base one, and then we'll just talk about the idea of how we could calculate other ones from there. So let's kind of draw this line. A line passes. It's going to pass through both these points, is what they said. So point A at negative 1. So on the x, we go back 1 over 1, oh geez, 1, 2, 3, and up 5. Uh, I'm just going to have to estimate this. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so there's line A. We'll do it in red. Or vector A, I should say. And vector B is at negative 3. Whoops, 1, 2, 3. Somewhere here. Positive 3 and negative 4. Uh, we'll say it's something like that. Okay? So again, this is in 3 space, so we, we're trying to be as abstract, think abstractly as possible here. Because I know my... My drawing is impeccable. So our line is going to go through both of these lines. So we'll call it, uh, we'll use this color here. There's our line. Going through both point A and B. In other words, we're going to call this line, or it's a vector, we're going to call this vector AB. Okay? And we need to find the directional vector for this. In order to find a directional vector using two points, anyone remember that formula? In two space, we would do x, a, x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, and now that we're in three space, z2, z2 minus z1. There we go. Okay. Uh, again, because this is vector AB, in other words, heading from B towards A in this direction, our point 2 will be B, our point 1 will be A. So, if this is our point 2 and our point 1, x2 is negative 3, subtract negative 1. y2 is 3, subtract 3. All right. And negative 4, subtract 5. We end up with negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2, 0, is it negative 9? I feel like the question... No, it is negative 9. Okay. Negative 9. So our directional vector, negative 2, 0, negative 9. My vector looks ridiculous compared to that. But our directional vector hits... would be at some point here. We'll do it in green. Uh, negative 2, 0 on the y, down 9. So remember, our directional vector comes from the origin. Now, I clearly haven't drawn this amazingly, but this is supposed to be a directional vector parallel to our purple one, okay? To think in three spaces, parallel. I didn't, this was a rough sketch. My A and B should have been a little more parallel in that case, okay? So there's our directional vector. When they ask us to find possible directional vectors, all they're saying is our directional vector here of negative 0 to 9 negative 9, sorry. We can multiply it by any scalar or any uh, parameter. We'll call the parameter k. So I could have made k equal to negative 1. Jeez, that's terrible. Okay, negative 1. In which case, if k had been negative 1, our new directional vectors would have been 2, 0, 9. So it would have changed it. Had k been the number 2, 
Our directional vectors have been negative 4, 0, negative 18. Okay. So there's many possible answers here depending on what scalar we multiply everything by. Okay. So our directional vector goes through space in the same direction as our vector AB. Now, example 2. Example 2 wants us to find the parametric and vector equations for two lines passing to a point. So same idea. They've given us two points. I'm not going to draw the three space because I am not amazing at it. Negative 2, 3, 5, and Q, negative 2, 4, 1. Here are two more points in three space, okay? They want to the, determine the vector and parametric equations of the line passing through this. So remember from our equations of a line, in vector form, r equals r naught, which is just any point plus a scalar or a uh, parameter of a directional vector. Well, with two points, in order to find our directional vector, we're going to have to take x2, subtract x1, y2, subtract y1, and z2, subtract z1. So we're going to find our directional vector. Uh, Q, again, because we're calling this vector PQ, Q will be our point 2. Minus negative 2, uh, 4 subtract 3, and negative 1 subtract 5. This ends up being 0, 1, negative 6. So our directional vector is 0, 1, negative 6. would be in the same direction from the origin to there as um, point PQ. Now to put this in vector form, because R0 represents any vector along that line, I can use either equation. My R0 can be negative 2, 3, 5 plus T of 0, 1, negative 6. Or it can be negative 2, 4, negative 1 plus T of 0, 1, negative 6. Both of these are acceptable for the vector form of that question. And the parametric form, remember, our original vector, it's no longer just x, y, it would be x, y, z is equal to, and just for time's sake, we'll do the first one, negative 2, 3, 5, plus t of 0, 1, negative 6. So parametric form, we take our x, our negative 2, and our t in 0, y, 3, t in 1, and z, 5 t in negative 6. So we're going to get three equations in this case, not just two like we did the previous times. Our x will be negative 2. t times 0 is 0, so there's nothing else to write to that. y would be 3 plus t, and z would be 5 minus 6t. And that would be our parametric form of all three of those uh, or sorry, of that line, or of that vector, I should say.